yesterday google released agent to agent protocol and in this video i will provide a very intuitive explanation of what exactly it is obviously you need to know what are ai agents if you don't i am linking a couple of videos and here is a demo of google agent space which uses a to a protocol so let's say if you are an organization you are hiring a software engineer you can attach pdf file into this agent space and it will discover the agents which will help with the task okay so that is the first step in a to a protocol which is this particular client okay the the chatbot that you're seeing is able to discover other agents so this chatbot itself is an agent but it is having this capability to discover other agents which can help it perform particular tasks so it found this particular sourcing agent and then it is talking to that okay so it is talking to that using a protocol you see agent protocol so agent protocol allows one agent to talk to other agent in a standardized way so i will just show you the complete demo here it uh, talked to that other agent and it is asking you this clarifying question okay do you need a person in plus and minus three hours of us specific time uh, so now you are getting into collaboration where clients and agents must support dynamic interaction where you can ask clarifying questions, okay? What kind of requirements you have for this particular uh, job requirement? And, and, and that is also part of that standard protocol, okay? So you clarify uh, your requirement here. And then, uh, so this is that user experience negotiation and it will go to some platforms and it will uh, find all these job profiles and you can just say please reach out to schedule interviews and maybe for interviews you can use multiple agents so the idea here is as an end user you're talking to client which was that google agent workspace and it has one base agent which is your remote agent and to accomplish a task it might be talking to couple of other agents and wherever you are seeing this green arrow, that's where you are applying A to A protocol. It's very simple, agent to agent protocol. Now you might wonder how is it different from model context protocol. And by the way, if you don't know about MCP, I have another video with a simple explanation. So let me give you an analogy to explain how this is different from MCP. Let's say you are a car repair guy uh, in our LLM analogy, it, this person is an LLM and to fix a tire or something, you need all these tools, right? See, these are all the tools that you need to perform various tasks, such as removing the screws, fixing the tire pressure and so on. And this entire system where you have LLM, which is this car repair guy, he has all these tools and both of them are accomplishing certain tasks so this entire system is called agent which can accomplish certain tasks such as fixing tire pressure or fixing whatever okay and to communicate llm will use this mcp so mcp is a protocol that helps llm communicate with tools resources prompt and so on but in real life agent will communicate with another agent so if you are a car repair person you might have to communicate with your customer or your part supplier and you will have often this back to back back and forth communication where you're saying okay it's, customer is saying it shows a tire pressure warning you will say okay i fixed it let me check again and you might find out that your pressure sensor is broken then customer will say okay how much will it cost so there is this back and forth so part of the protocol is that you need to enable this back and forth communication in a standardized way so to summarize a to a is a protocol which uh, allows ai agents to communicate with each other in a standardized way and i'm going to link uh, page from Google. Google came up with this particular protocol, which is used by many companies, by the way, Intuit, Langchain, MongoDBC. There are many companies which have started using this 
already now you need to know certain concept the first one is agent card so when this lady wants to repair her car she has some way of discovering the right car repair person and that discovery happens through agent card okay so let's say she might has have different needs for example uh, she need a person to repair her car and she might know a couple of car repair people and then she will have information on a person who can help her sell the car so car dealer okay so she might have a directory where or a registry where she has all these agent cards and she knows the name of the person the description what kind of skills this person has entre mishra has skills of selling used cars car financing whereas john pandya has all these skills of oil change tire repair and so on so i'm showing uh, the official documentation where they talk about discovering agent cards so let's say if you are a client who is working on solving uh, some task let's say finding software engineer you know that google agents uh, workspace demo that we saw now you need to have some way to discover what other agents you can work with just like that uh, lady customer she has all that agent cards or agent tool registry agent registry rather where she knows that there is this person who is a car dealer there is this person who is a repair person there is this person who is the shop owner and so on so similarly here there are multiple ways you can discover agents the first way is you can use this particular agent.json file and clients will use dns to resolve known or found domain okay the other one is registry based where for an ai application here is the registry of trusted agents okay and they're still working on this protocol this is short of like work in progress uh, but there will be some kind of registry there is a private discovery also okay there are multiple ways where a client or the remote agent can discover other agents okay then comes the agent card so this is once again a protocol so you have a standardized way of showing your agent card and this is the typescript this is the schema so you should have agent card then you should have name description url so these are these things are must okay you understand what, what the protocol is protocol is basically defining that a uh, standard uh, in which you are going to communicate so if you are an agent uh, and you want to uh, send your agent card to other agent it has to be in this format okay it should have provider like which company it is okay google whatever whatever that company is uh, if you are writing an a, a, an agent which can uh, help you buy groceries then that company which is creating that agent that will be the organization name here the capabilities and so on okay uh, there is this task object also so when you are giving a task to solve it has to be in this format okay so there are different specification here but let me just show you some sample so if you scroll down this is an agent card for google maps agent so there is an agent which will help you with google map related task so this is the url this is the organization these are the capabilities see it will have multiple skills so first skill is route planning second skill is custom map and so on then when you send a task see you will say tell me a joke this is a different uh, task by the way not related to google map uh, but this is how you will specify your task and your response will come here and it is using json rpc as a communication protocol uh, and as a data exchange format you are using json so uh, this is not like replacing http or json rpc etc the a2a protocol is built on top of http json rpc um you know some other protocols bunch of other protocols which which i will talk about in this particular document so you can uh, read through all these uh, sometimes you need you have streaming requirements so 
you want to communicate through SSE. So A2A protocol also supports SSE. And this is the example of that. Let's say you are writing a long paper, okay, on some topic. Now you need to stream the response. So you can stream it like this, okay. This is section one, section two, and so on. And it supports multi-modality as well. Uh, it also supports error handling. And then here is a nice article on um, A2A versus MCP and the uh, garage example that I use. I, I, I got the inspiration from this. There are a bunch of diagrams that you can find it useful. Uh, now, let me show you the, there is some code as well. So here there is a code, code of an uh, agent which is acting as a server. So it, it will obviously uh, display that uh, agent card. So see agent card format is same as the schema that we saw. It has name, description, URL, the skills and skills is an array. So it can have multiple skills. So one of the skills is, let's say this, this is a, an example of a reimbursement tool. So your skill is you can process reimbursement tool. So if you are an organization which is building this agentic tool which can reimburse your expenses, then you can use a to a, to a protocol and you can build one agent which is a reimbursement tool. Okay. So this is just the main server file. The actual implementation of reimbursement tool is here. So you will see a class which is your reimbursement agent. So this is an agent. An agent will have some capability. What is that capability? Well, it uses Gemini 2.0 flash model. It can do this thing. This is the prompt that it will use to pass the task over to an LLM. So it is using some LLM. It is using tools. Of course, agents is nothing but LLM plus tools. Okay. So this entire class is nothing but an agent, but this agent is communicating with other agents okay it is providing all these capabilities through the agent card that i have these capabilities so that other agents can use this particular agent all right so i hope you understand uh, now what exactly a2a is i'm going to link all these documents for your detailed understanding this was released just yesterday so uh, we'll have to see you know what kind of impact this has in the world of AI. It is still new. A lot of things are being evolved. So it, it starts a new era for agent interoperability and it is going to be a, a very good development uh, for companies and organizations which are building this agentic tools. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, post in the comment box below.